What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and today we'll be delivering room vacuuming with the Hoover Elite Rewind Plus. Now, this vacuum I did a full review on just a few months ago, and if you're wondering where it's been since then, I actually gave this to my grandmother-in-law, or at least I think that's the proper terminology you'd use, uh, my fiancé's grandmother. So, I gave it to my grandmother-in-law because she needed a new vacuum, and her Bissell Power Force Compact that she had at the time was definitely one that had seen better days. Now, there's nothing necessarily stopping me from refurbishing that model that she had, but we figured it'd be nicer just give her basically a brand new vacuum, because this one, after I had refurbished it, it literally looked brand new. It had had so little usage from the previous owner that the bin and the front base and everything was still shiny and still looked new, and there wasn't really anything that was dirty to the point of needing a massive disassembly, and it had all the attachments, so it just kind of made sense. She needed a new vacuum, one that performed better since she had a dog and several cats. So it made sense to give her something like this that would be a little bit better since she wanted something that was bagless and that performed a little bit better. But since then, she realized that, well, she actually needs something a little bit more lightweight. So at one point, my fiancé just grabbed the other PowerForce Compact that I had just recently fixed up and gave that to her instead. And even though it was basically her old vacuum, but just this time working again and being blue instead of purple, she was really happy with it, and she was more than happy to give away this machine to get her old one back since it was so much more lightweight. And there really wasn't anything else I had that I could think of that would be as lightweight yet still had attachments and that sort of thing other than like this dirt devil and that Bissell would be a better option that dirt devil anyways because the hose is better and it doesn't have the weird issue with the latch on the bin so it just kind of worked out that way that I ended up getting this machine back and she ended up getting a machine that I would have realistically had a hard time selling anyways so maybe at some point I'll get her a new machine but for now she's happy with that one and she doesn't want this one back so uh, my fiance is thinking about taking this machine over as his daily driver to replace the Bissell PowerForce uh, Helix Turbo Rewind Pet. But um, at some point, I'll probably get that Hoover T Series Wind Tunnel Tempo, the bad version of this, and hopefully that'll be the replacement for his daily machine. But for now, this machine is exactly in the condition that I got it back in. I haven't done the refurb on it, all the attachments are still with it, but it is still pretty dusty. And for those who want to see what the filter's like from her limited usage, you can see there is a lot of dust on the outside of this and on the inside of this, so it does need a clean, but nothing too major. It also might end up needing a new belt, but we'll see. So we can check this out while getting a bunch of dust on my pants. Also, if you're wondering why I'm walking a little bit funny, it ooh, look at all that dust. Ew. So there's that filter. Not too bad. Could use a wash, obviously. Definitely um, more than serviceable. It definitely does not need a replacement, at least doesn't appear to. So, seals back in there just fine. And this is... Let me set this, set this down real quick. Put this back together. Come on. Where is the it's being really difficult? There we go. Okay. So that's that's back together. Okay. And for those wondering why I may be walking a little bit funny, it's because I went up onto the roof of the house to clean off some of the nails and stuff, and also just to kind of see what it looked like up there, you know, from the view from the top of the house. And my fiancé was up there with me, and uh, needless to say, the, the window that we went up there on kind of shut on us and got stuck, so we had to jump off the roof, but we're okay. Um, I think I twisted my ankle a little bit and he may have broken his middle toe on his right foot but other than that we're okay so um anyways uh, back to the vacuum so yeah it seems to be just fine but yeah so i will go ahead and run this because i'm sure it'll be fine enough before i do the refurb on it and if you guys want to see the refurb on it since i have to refurb this yet again then definitely comment below but yeah so here's the elite rewind plus 
running. So obviously the review I did on this machine is pretty favorable, especially compared to a lot of other bagless machines in this price range. So if you really need a bagless, this is still a solid option. I still stand by that. But uh, yeah, so still prefer bagged. And you know if you're if you're gonna pay the 120 for this, you really should just pay the extra 20 or 30 bucks and get the T series bagged. But still, it's a good option. If you really need bagless. So anyways, Intellitech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I hope you all have a good one. Peace.